in Canva. Now, the one thing you need to know before we get started is that your link will only be clickable if you download it as a PDF. This does not work for JPEG or PNG images. So this isn't something we're doing for social media. This is something that we are doing for PDF documents. So maybe um, if you're making a freebie download for your newsletter subscribers to download or something like that, maybe you're making an invitation that you're going to send out via email and what you want people to be able to click on it when, um, you know, click on a link when they open it. Something like that is, is what we're doing here. So um, you can use any size, use any template. Just know that when we download, we have to download as a PDF. So I don't want to do any of the sizes that are up here. So I'm going to click more. And I'm going to go ahead and do a resume. Um, you know, that's something that maybe if you're making a creative resume for a creative job, um, you could use a Canva template and you could make your links clickable. So I'm just going to pick a free one uh, to keep things easy. And of course, this template doesn't have a website on it to make my <laughs> to make my life easy. Um, I'm just going to add it to the contact info here. Uh, I also have to tell you that. At this time, Canva does not have a way to make an email link clickable. Um, you know, if you clicked this, it would not open up an email program. They don't have the capability to do that yet, but we can just hit enter here and I can put my website in. And I'm gonna zoom in and show you so you can really see what's going on here. But I just put a website in and I'm going to highlight it. And then up here, there's a little link symbol and I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna put my full link and hit apply. So um, I can also, this doesn't have any images, but let's pretend that that we've got, well, we're not pretending, let's just add an image. Um, just for simplicity, I'm adding the first one that pops up. So, I just wanna show you that you can do this with images and illustrations as well as with text. So let's say I want this light bulb. Of course, now it's back there, there we go. I click on the light bulb or any image, I can click on anything and click link and I can, I can make this link. So I'm gonna hit apply. And now let me show you what happens when we download. So I'm gonna click download up here and I'm gonna choose PDF. So if you are making something and it suggests JPEG or PNG, your link is not gonna be clickable. The, the words will still be on there, but it will not be clickable. So for this, I'm gonna choose standard PDF. It'll be a slightly smaller style. If it's something that you want people to print, choose print PDF. But I'm gonna click download, and it went to my downloads, and now when I open it, it comes up in my, um, you know, my PDF reader, which mine's Adobe Acrobat, and watch this. When I click, so you can see the little link's gonna pop up, and it's going to give me a warning that it's trying to connect. Do I trust bizbff.com? I do. It's my website. So the person who is opening yours, their PDF reader is going to have its own settings, and they may or may not get that warning. But you can see it is now opening my website. And hooray, there I am. So I'll show you it works just the same with if I clicked that light bulb, my website opens up. So that's it. That all you have to do is select what you want to make the link, whether that's, you know, a piece of text or whatever it is, and you're going to click that hyperlink, put it in here, hit apply, and then download as a PDF. It's that simple. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to learn more about how to use Canva, please join me for my free Canva crash course at bit.ly slash Canva BFF, or go ahead and click that link.